The National Weather Service has issued hurricane and storm surge watches for St. Johns County. And local officials have issued mandatory evacuations for thousands of people there. Those evacuation orders went into effect at 8 this morning. They apply to zones A, B, and F, seen in the red, orange, and pink on this map. It includes the entire city of St. Augustine, St. Augustine Beach, and those living on waterfront property or in flood-prone areas. Residents living in boats, RVs, mobile homes, low-lying flood-prone areas, all required to evacuate. News for Jack's reporter Ann Maxwell joining us live from St. Augustine's Anastasia Island, an area known to flood in storm. So Ann, how's it looking right now? Well, Kent, it's been dark and rainy all day long, and we've seen the wind, the rain picking up in the past several hours. We've also started to see some water pooling in some of the more low-lying roads here. Uh, it appears a lot of people have evacuated. This is one of the areas under that mandatory evacuation. I spoke to a couple people who said they're going to be staying behind for this one. Boarded businesses line St. Augustine streets as locals brace for impact from Hurricane Milton overnight. Few cars or people were out and about Wednesday, but longtime resident Susan Weeks Sturm was trying to get in a few steps Wednesday morning. Because of the damage that we've seen with Helene, I think everybody's taking this very seriously. She says most of her neighbors have evacuated, including her 97 year old mother, even though she resisted at first. What'd you have to tell your mom to get her to evacuate? Just that power outage is probably very real. And it could be some time before we get power back again. And we just know in the dark, if we're flooded, it's just a real unsafe situation for her. Flooding is a major concern. The National Weather Service warns life-threatening storm surges three to five feet above the ground are possible in vulnerable areas of coastal St. Johns County. With St. Augustine's fire chief warning Tuesday, areas that flooded during Nicole or Irma are likely to flood again with Milton. The memories of other storms are still present for many, including longtime Davis Shores resident that, Angelo uh, Dinakis. Uh, high water has been the issue uh, with uh, Matthew in 16 and uh, Irma 10 months later. And he says seven. he's waiting this one out, clearing his garage floor in case of flooding and preparing for the possibility of power outages with a backup generator. Feeling pretty good as far as our prep. While residents here are wary and watching Milton closely, they're more concerned about areas closer to the hurricane's projected path. Our hearts and prayers are with everybody on the West Coast. I have many, we have many family friends who are over in that area that we're very worried about. And there are three shelters open for people in St. Johns County who need a safe place to go. We've got detail on, details on those on newsforjacks.com. And local officials are warning people to stay off the roads tonight as we are bracing for the worst impacts of Milton in this area that we're going to be feeling in the coming hours. For now, reporting live from Anastasia Island in St. Augustine and Maxwell Channel 4, the local station. And thank you.